Okay, I guess Hocus Pocus so I have to wait until next time. No point in rushing. Let's take it nice and slow. Who wants a break? We can't do that. There's a time limit to solving the mystery labyrinth. What there is? Time limit? What happens when it runs out? I don't want to know. Well, you're I'd rather not know. And you're trapped wandering I just said I'd rather not know, Shinigami. Do you not listen? In the end, your soul will be absorbed into the mystery labyrinth and you disappear. In other words, you die. Do I get a cool phantom form so if somebody else checks out the murder, they get to refute what I'm trying to say? Cuba, come on. We gotta get out of here. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I know. Which route do you want to take next? Uh, let's do the how is the poison brought to the theater hall. Let's go with this one. How I'm pretty sure that Yoshiko hall. brought it with sure the squirt that? gun. Yes. I'm pretty sure that Yoshiko brought it with the squirt gun, but I'm not entirely sure. So, our goal here is to answer the question, how was the poison brought to the Oh, the other hall? one was yellow and this hall is red. Speaking of... That's cool. Where did the poison used in the murder come from? Chemistry lab. The chemistry lab in the school. Yeah. It's a highly Where else would it come from, Desihiko? Come on, snap, snap. Use your head, idiot. Why not just take it from the chem lab and keep it hidden in your clothes or something? Did you see the vial of poison that was in the chemistry lab? It was thicker than Shinigami's thighs and boobs combined. There's no way you could have carried that shit in. Containers and brought it to the theater. That's gotta be it. Yes, it does. But the time constraint. Oh, you know what? Yoshiko was sneaking through the theater midway through the performance, so I think Yoshiko brought it for sure in the squirt gun. But Waduna applied it. Wait, so did... No, Yoshiko couldn't have applied the poison to the glass, could she? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Wow, this is cool. I love how the hallway is twisting and shit like a roller coaster. That is awesome. Squirt gun. Squirt gun. Absolutely the squirt gun. Uh, A. Different container. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh shit, are you serious? Really? What? It was the squirt gun. It had to have been. The eyedropper? Really? A paint Really? Really? Okay. That is not at all what I thought. Wow, man. I guess you could... Wait, was there? I don't remember that. I would have selected that first. What? I don't remember a wet paintbrush at all. could be brought to the theater hall without drawing suspicion. Wow, dude, I can't believe I got that wrong twice. The glass wow. It to the theater hall. So the squirt gum was a red herring, was it? Okay. So that means that anybody could have done it, right? Uh, this way. Middle? Replace the poison glass with the prop glass. Wait, so they poisoned one glass and then swapped it out? With one that wasn't poisoned? But why? I thought I was why would that have been necessary? We're not done yet. It's just getting started. How? Waduna and Carter were on stage, and Kurane was up there the whole time. So it had to have been Yoshiko that did that. But how did... How did Yoshiko... Get the glass onto the stage? 
45 minutes before the duel of poison cup scene. That's way too late. Wait, right, well, so how about that? You when was Yoshiko sneaking into the theater, on. though? There is one person who could have brought the poison in before it expired. It had to have been Yoshiko, but I don't know when she came into the auditorium, is the thing. It must have been a very tight window, given the nature of, like, the way this carried out. I cannot believe I got that twice. I thought for sure it was the fucking squirt gun. I thought for fucking sure it was the squirt gun. I thought my and, reasoning made uh, so much more you're sense. Supposed to pick the right one here, yeah. Can you do it, Yuma? Yeah, yeah this you one's easy. Me. Watch me get it wrong. This one should be simple. It's got to be Yoshiko. So I'm guessing Waterna had no I idea this was so going to happen at all. No, that's not true. You were not in the audience the whole time, you lying bitch. You absolutely were not. You little fibber, you. Yoshiko, it was you, wasn't it? It had to have been. What? Me? Yeah, you. The only way to use a poison with a 30-minute expiration. Oh, her eyes are flowers. That's cool. To a play is to bring it during the performance. Right. Warna was acting on stage the whole time. And, and Kurane was up there, right? The on the catwalk. Uh huh. Yoshiko, you were working backstage, so you were the only one who could move about freely. Wait, Yoshiko was working backstage? When was that mentioned? I don't remember that. That would have changed everything. In fact, you arrived late to the theater hall after the performance had already begun. Right, but where was it mentioned that she was working backstage? I don't remember that. You were about 15 minutes late, which is 30 minutes before the Duel of Poison's Cups. Just enough time for the poison to be lethal. So it was you. That's why I was saying that knowing the time frame of what actions took place within the play, you could direct it yourself, essentially. You brought the poison and got caught in to drink it. No, it's not me! No, she didn't get caught in to drink it, but she did bring the poison. There's no doubt about that. Hey, she ran away! Yuma, after her! But is Waduna a phantom in here solely for the purpose of being a phantom for that segment earlier with Kurane and yelling and debasing her? Hey, you can't get away that easy! My master loves when you don't play on the run! What a dog! What is this segment? This has never been in one of these before. This has me curious. This is entirely new. Oh, uh-oh. I don't like the split path thing. Oh, this is going to be one of those, yep. I knew the scythe was coming. As soon as there were two doors. What was the glass put in to be transported? Uh... A pouch? I don't know. A pouch? As a production assistant, okay. Yoshiko always had a bag with her. Did she? It, she carried the glass with poison brushed on. The glass would be small enough to fit in the bag, and even if someone saw it, she could say it's just a prop. That is true. I can't argue that. So she prepared for the murder while in her role as a production assistant. That's fucking cool. Okay. Come here, bitch. Quit running. But you know what? It doesn't feel right chasing after a girl like this. Oh, that's right, because when we were running around as Yoshiko, we had the bag, didn't we? Seriously. Didn't we? Hey, time to cough it up! You did it, didn't you? That's such a small detail. Not me. I, I didn't do it. You think crying will save you? Damn, Desahiko fucking damn. <laughs> this boy snapped. Oh, wow. You're right. Oh, never mind. You're so cute. <laughs> You still are Desuhiko. Fuck it off, Desuhiko! <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. Keep it in your pants, you horn dog. Jesus Christ. It's all good. With my kind of charisma, I can make anyone a female. It's like the fifth girl you tried to riz up, bro. He doesn't even have a standard. His standard is being female. That's it. She might even lead us all the way to our goal. Why do you always get all the attention, Yoshiko? You're such an ass-kissing bimbo. Damn, Wadana! Come on, man! 
<laughs> I know she's kind of a murderer, but she doesn't deserve that. That's savage. Holy shit. These girls really are bitches to one another. Holy fuck. Whoa, dude. Look at Kurene. Holy shit. That's way too mean. Even if she is the culprit, I'm sure she has Holy a fuck. reason why. This is so cool. This is what I was talking about earlier with the dynamic of like females in school. It's like this would have been such a neat concept to explore, and I was hoping it would do this, and it did. This game is fucking rad. Oh, that's... Why am I turned on right now? I shouldn't be excited about this. I'm about to go into a reasoning deathmatch with three hotties. I should be scared. Why am I aroused? This isn't good. Whoa, look how flexible Kurene is. What? You know what, Desihiko? Maybe you got a point, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, man. I'll be direct with you. Oh, I gotta refute all three of them with different statements. Oh, no. So they're all at each other's throats, but they're fighting me. Okay, that's what I have to refute, I think. No, no, no. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I see. I'm gonna have to refute it with all three, aren't I? I'm gonna have to refute that big statement with all three, huh? Oh my god, dude. That's bullshit, dude. My depth perception is not that good. No, I don't think so. I'm not refuting that, though. That's what I was talking about. Like, my depth perception gets me fucked in this game. Wait, no one could swap the glasses. What am I refuting here? Yoshiko does seem like the only one who could have brought the poison, but is she really the culprit? That case. If Yoshiko did it, then the blackout would have been her only chance to swap the glasses. Could she really have done that? Let's check the solution case to see what Yoshiko was doing during the blackout. I'll be direct with you. Okay, Yoshi Yoshiko's actions. Let's do that one. Okay, I can't refute that, so it can't be that. No, I'm not refuting that. That I agree with. Oh my god, dude. I hate that shit. I cannot tell where the thing is on the screen in relation to me. That is such a big problem with this game because of the pacing of the way the words fly at you. You have to compensate it, and you can't do it every time. Oh my god, I'm so tired of that. Like, the fact that I'm graded on my performance in combat by depth perception alone fucking sucks. Like, I honestly kinda hate that. I love this concept. This concept is great, but the depth perception part of it really fucks with me a lot when it shouldn't. And I'm at a disadvantage because of it. And it is kind of frustrating. It's really cool, but it's... That one I jumped into. That one I can't get mad about. That one was my own fucking fault. I did not react right to that. No? What am I refuting here? Yoshiko's the only one who could have brought in a poison glass. There's no contradiction there. I'm not- I'm not refuting that! This evidence says Yoshiko sat down before the lights went out and never got out of her seat. Even if she brought a glass, she couldn't have swapped it out. What? When the fuck was that mentioned? That was never mentioned either. She never sat down. I don't remember her sitting down at all. Bro, I'm getting so fucking sick of that bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. That's pissing me off. Just let me dodge the fucking things, please. Like, that shit is legitimate. Like, dude, come on! Quit bullshitting me, please. Seriously. I'm so fucking tired of that. No 
What am I refuting here? I'm not understanding this at all. I'm just having to loop this 50 times. Like, I'm trying not to get frustrated, but it's really hard to not get frustrated with the depth perception thing going on. The reasoning thing is one thing. That I can deal with. The depth perception thing sucks ass. Okay, I'm not gonna refute that. I'm sorry this has taken forever. It's just, it's really hard to reason this out. Am I refuting that with Yoshiko's actions? Yes, I am. Okay. I had a feeling about that earlier, but I didn't act on it, so that's my own fucking fault, really. It's very frustrating to be repeatedly hit given the depth perception. It's hard to tell how fast things are gonna fly and how early you have to input an action. That's my only issue with this combat. It's a really good idea. It's really cool dodging the statements and dodging the words and shit like that and then countering them. That's cool. But the depth perception admittedly does fuck with me way more than it should. So Yoshiko couldn't have been the one who swapped the glasses during the performance. <laughs> okay, so they're gone now. Wait, so that was all I had to do, really? So Yoshiko wasn't the culprit? You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to replay these after I finish the game and get she better grades on them. I think. I fucked but this one up so bad. Not the culprit. Uh, I, if she couldn't with have the squirt gun the theory. The shelf, she can't be the one who committed the crime. Let's keep going for now. There may be more ahead. I'm, I'm sorry for getting a little bit irked there, but it's like it's hard to not get frustrated with, if I'm being honest. Like I really try to keep my patience, but if I'm getting fucked by the same thing over and over and I can't correct myself because my depth perception just leaves me at a heavy disadvantage like I don't know what you want like it'd be one thing if there was one round of them and I had to just apply the reasoning it would be fine quick Yuma punch me in the back of the head as hard as possible no dude I think I'd rather drop you off a cliff yeah god damn that sucked I was terrible at that one. It's not even that, like, all my actions are bad, it's that I'm getting punished for doing things too early or too late. And there's times where I input an action, but it's not soon enough, and then I get hit. And then there's times when I input an action too early, and then I get punished for it. It's really hard to gauge. Are you sure that's the case? What if there's something that makes the wall collapse? I guess what I have to start doing is using the abilities of the people with me more. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Because I'm definitely not doing that. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. I didn't do it for the past two chapters, and that's probably why I got fucked as much as I did, so I have to get into the habit of pressing ZR more often. So maybe it protects you from damage even if you fuck up. And I was under the impression that you got punished for using the abilities and getting hit still, but maybe that's not the case, so maybe I need to experiment with that more. Let's try using that. Let's see what happens. Your oh. voice amplified and echoes across the area. Uh, that's it? Yep, that's it. Now hurry up and pick another <laughs> one, Master. Okay. Oh, I don't get damaged, I see. I just wanted to see what it did. I had to see. I had to know. Okay, it's fine. So in the next reasoning death matches, I'm going to use them to experiment. I think, using the uh, ability right. of the master Step detective over. I have with Which me. Do you want to pick? So I'm gonna use Desihiko's ability a lot more and see if sure you take the I jump or duck too flashlight? late, or if I and dash the wrong way if fight. I take damage. Cause if I don't take damage, then it's my own fucking fault, and I've been neglecting using these abilities, and that's my own shortcoming. The depth perception thing is a so, little bit frustrating, but if they the give you a method to get around it for people with that kind of the disadvantage, glass. then I can't really Actually, complain about it, and it's my own fault. That. 
Maybe it's wrong to think the poison was in the glass itself. Yeah. Yeah, the peacekeeper said the same thing. Yeah. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. On the victim's glass. Oh, right. If that's the case, it narrows down the He said on, not in. By a lot. But that might just be a phrasing thing. I know I told him that when we fucking entered. I was like, you know about all the death traps and shit, right? Like Like, if we're talking realistically, I've made more things wrong in this labyrinth than I've gotten right, I think. I was really banking on the squirt gun. I'm really surprised that... Oh, no. Oh, my God. You just had to make that fucking indie joke earlier, didn't you, Desahiko, you bastard? Okay. Giant boulder behind me. When was the glass set on the stage? Uh, before the play? During the play? Had to be- had to be during the play. What? What? It had to be during the play. There's no other way. It had to be during the play. I don't believe that. That's bullshit. I don't believe that. I want to see their reasoning. But if that was the case, the poison lose effectiveness after fucking 30 minutes. There's no way that's possible. The prop master placed the glasses on the shelf an hour before the performance began. Oh! Before the poison was coated onto the glass. I'm an idiot. Okay, alright, fair enough. We got more boulders coming at us! Come on, concentrate, concentrate! I misinterpreted. Okay, there, now it comes into play, during the play, that's why I was saying. I just applied the wrong reasoning, but I had the right line of logic. That's why I was like, I want to see what their logic is here. And that's what I just said five seconds ago. So I just jumped the gun a little bit. That's my own fault. Okay, that's fine. 